Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our elapsed time teaching tool. Okay, when you first start the uh, teaching tool, this is what you'll see. This is the uh, the default settings here, and let me show you how you get here before we start uh, going over how to use it. And on any of our ma our pages, you're going to see this menu up here towards the top, and this is just a portion of it. Uh, there's some more out to the right that's truncated. Um, so if you go ahead and click teaching tools it'll take you to this page and um, you can see our teaching tools there and you click on the elapsed time clock and let's go ahead and si uh, center that and this shows you the screenshot uh, and at this point uh, screenshot of the t elapsed time clock you can click this link here to go to the uh, to use the uh, elapsed time clock you can watch this video overview by clicking this uh, link here or you can click this link to download the instructions but the instructions are also included down here and there's quite a bit of them it looks very complicated but uh, the application is really easy to use it's just maybe if you need a refresher on what some of the keys do you can always look down here and uh, so let's go ahead and take a look on how to use it and I would get there by clicking this link let's go ahead and bring it up again now you have the two clocks, you have the start clock and the end clock, and you have the box showing the last time here. You have the buttons here, and this is a this is more uh, or less a configuration uh, button in which you can actually uh, move the uh, elements on the screen around or resize them. And uh, this button here allows you to cycle through the different modes. And I'm going to show you each one of the modes in each one of the uh, uh, configuration items here. So if you click on this, it will cycle through each of the different uh, th modes you're in. So let's go ahead, when you start out, it's locked. Let's go ahead and resize. And I can grab any of these and basically left clicking will, and dragging will, will, uh, as I go towards the center. It makes it smaller. As I go pull the mouse away, it goes larger. Um, same thing with this. Either one of these, I can do the same thing. Let's go ahead and keep about, I'll keep about the same size. Um, and then if I click the uh, configuration button again, in move mode, I can actually move these objects and make it uh, look any way I like. And uh, you can also resize and move these buttons too. So really anything you see on the screen you can configure. Let's go ahead and put it in static mode because if, if you notice if I have it in uh, resize mode and I try to change the time, it'll actually resize it or if it's move mode, it'll actually move it. So you've got to be sure that this is in lock mode which means if I click on the clock it's going to move if I click on minute hand I should say minutes move and you notice the time down here and the last time also changes but uh, I can also if I really want to get someplace quick I can do the hour clock and fine tune it with the minute clock and show mode is really this it's a default uh, setting it's it's really like the teaching mode or just kind of what i call the demo mode and it demos how um, it shows how uh, a last time works so we have a start time nine and let's go ahead and put the um, end time of 12 and that gives you an elapsed time of three hours and let's go ahead and say 1205 and it shows that you start at 9 and at 12.05 you have a, a laugh time of 3 hours and 5 minutes. And these clocks are very easy to move. You can just uh, click on the minute, on the hour, or minute hand, as I showed earlier. And then, uh, so that's how show mode works. Let's go ahead and quiz mode. And in quiz mode, um, you actually will set the time versus random mode. It generates a random t start and end time. Let's go ahead and go to random five does a random in five minute increments. Let's go back to quiz mode. I'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead and uh, since this is quiz mode, you'll actually set the times versus uh, random mode. You just get a random time. Go ahead and move that two and six. So if I was in class, say I could set this like this and then ask the students. Uh, what the elapsed time was and I can either key it in by clicking in here and, and keying in a number or I can the easier way is I can just 
ramp that up to four or if I go past I can always go down and I can check it and it tells me that that is correct and if I put 401 in there and check it says no the correct hour actually that's not uh, it says it, it will show you the correct answer in hour and minutes uh, for some reason that is not showing up on the it's truncated here let's go ahead and see if, actually let's see if I can let's go ahead and see if I can put that back and check and let's go ahead and move this over here and there you go you can see let me go ahead and for some reason on this video it is not uh, Oh, I put the buttons out of order. Let's go ahead and uh, put that there. And I can move this down. And that makes a little bit more sense. I'll put it unlocked. Okay. So anyways, um, if you get an incorrect answer, it just shows you what the actual uh, elapsed time would be. You can also let me go ahead and make these times a little bit easier to... 208... So this is going to be a last time of uh, six hours, but let's go ahead and instead of um, let's go ahead and say we want a quiz on having an end time of eight o'clock, a last time of six hours. At this point, instead of entering the time like we did a minute ago in the last time box here. We have to actually set the time. So if I guessed a start time of 3, end time of 8 would give me a last time of 6, I would check. And it says, really? No, that's not right. You need to put the clock on 2 if you're looking for a last time of 6 hours, end time of 8. Likewise, you can come over here and go ahead and move these out of the way. Put them down here. Likewise, now we're quizzing on setting the end time. So it's saying here, if you have a start time of 2 and you have 6 hours elapsed time, what would the clock need to be? Well, of course, we know it's 8 earlier. Let's go ahead and change that 7. So we've got a start time of 2, elapsed, uh, 7 hours elapsed time, and then now it's telling you to set the end time because I've ch highlighted this... Uh, click this radio button up here and, and it's telling you that we need to set the end time. So for that we need to set the end time. Let me go ahead and, whoa, I've got that in move mode. Let's lock it. You can see how that tricky that can be. And I'm guessing that if I have a start time of 2 and we're looking for 7 hours lap time, the clock should be showing 9. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and show you random mode and that works the same way you can choose to uh, um, it, will, it shows you the clocks and you've got to uh, if it's incorrect try again you've got to uh, figure out the elapsed time so in random mode you notice you can't change the clocks and it's saying a start time of 6 40 and time of 201 and that's going to give me a uh, seven hours and let's see, 21, 39 minutes. Oh no no, uh, 21 minutes. So uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and put 21. So you got that right, and then you get a new one. It says start time of 4:02 in time of 8:09. That's a little bit easier. So that would be four hours and seven minutes. Let's go ahead and click. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put eight, and it'll tell me that's incorrect. Try again, and it's like okay, that's four hours and seven minutes, and that's correct. Now the random five, it, it's just like that. It's looking. It, you've got to find out, find the elapsed time, and uh, by plugging it in here. But the times are a little bit easier to deal with. You're talking about it will always end in five, uh, five minute increments, so it makes it a little bit easier. So that's how the last time clock works. It's uh, it's free to use in the classroom at home online. There's never any um, 
uh, sign up or membership required. Um, I hope this video has helped some, and thanks for watching.